In those studies, we used several different models to look, look at the immune response. We used in vitro model, which included basically a macrophage cell line. We also used an in ex vivo approach, and of course a rodent model as well. And what we found is that by placing mushrooms, powdered mushrooms in the diets uh, of these animals and in culturing with the cells, we actually induced the immune system. We induced TNF alpha uh, production, and that of course is important in fighting cancer or cancer cells. So overall, we globally saw an increase uh, or a boost in the immune response. Interesting though, in the in vivo response, that is with the rodent model, the response occurred uh, in animals that were challenged. That is, we instilled a chemical basically induced uh, intestinal inflammation, and we did in fact find protection from the damage of that, as well as a subtle but uh, significant boosting of the immune system. Well, the, the white button mushrooms, or mushrooms in general, have a group of polysaccharides, pretty much a, a polymer uh, of glucose and a beta linkage kind of a, a chemical structure. These molecules actually bind a specific receptor in immune cells so that when we consume those, they boost the immune system because the immune system cells recognize that as being non-self. So that causes the overall immune system to ramp up, not excessively, but it does ramp it up and make the response uh, stronger and capable of dealing with a subsequent uh, uh, insult. So our approach with cardiovascular disease risk has been particularly intriguing in the context of, of application of mushrooms. So we, in an in vitro system, uh, establish culture of human aortic endothelial cells. So basically a non-transform cell type. Uh, and basically we added uh, uh, IL-1 beta, a pro-inflammatory cytokine. So this basically simulated the inflammation that often occurs with obesity, with atherogenesis, atherosclerosis, uh, and also uh, uh, with, with other chronic diseases. So in adding this inflammatory mediator, we upregulated adhesion molecules. Now these are molecules on the endothelial surface, the lining of the blood vessel, the inner lining. And so when those upregulate, they tend to be sort of like sticky fingers, if you will, in that they grab monocytes, another type of immune cell, and pull them in basically to the intimal region of the vessel. So they're inside, uh, when they're exposed to LDL, the bad cholesterol that gets modified, they become foam cells and this atherogenesis uh, uh, begins. So foam cells start, then ultimately downstream atherosclerotic plaques. What we found when we added mushroom extracts to these cells, we added them separately, is that we were able to downregulate three key adhesion molecules, primarily VCAM1, or vascular cell adhesion molecule, ELAM, or endothelial leukocyte adhesion molecule, or ICAM, intercellular. And so in reducing all three of those, it would seem that would be potentially protective against the initial phases of cardiovascular disease. Well, to determine whether that was the case, we then looked at the actual binding of monocytes preloaded with a dye to this uh, endothelial uh, lining, and we found significant reductions in the actual binding of the monocytes. Now, if you consider that that's the initial process that goes along with atherogenesis and ultimately atherosclerosis downstream, then clearly the mushrooms, with white button being particularly effective, can reduce processes that ultimately lead to chronic disease, in this case cardiovascular disease. Well, certainly in the context of a healthy diet, one should consume as many fruits and vegetables as one can daily. Of course, um, many do not consume anywhere near the recommendations. But as part of a healthy diet, we know that not only fruits and vegetables have a plethora of bioactive agents, but fungi, the mushrooms, have a tremendous number of nutritive and even non-nutritive biologically active compounds that can significantly reduce the risk of disease. So my advice is to consume fungi, white button mushrooms, let's say, every day, a cup a day, a cup and a half a day, however you want to consume those would be beneficial and ultimately reduce the risk of chronic disease.